Hello everyone, this is Dr. Ruchi Shirurkar. I am a founder and director of an organization called as Pediatreat. Today I am going to talk about few important rubrics in pediatric practice and what is the key to prescribe in pediatrics. So when we talk about children, their world is their family, their school or their friends, right? In children, the observation is very, very important and it starts the moment the child enters your cabin, you know. So you have a small CCTV camera, you can observe what is the child doing, He's, is he sitting at one place or is he mixing with everyone around. And the second important thing is the moment the child enters your cabin, I'll give you some examples. For example, if the moment the child enters your cabin and the child is shrieking and howling and crying and the parents, you know, are trying hard that the children should be in the cabin and the child is just refusing to stay in the cabin and the child is showing by hand that he just wants to go out of the cabin and he's very very scared so this is one situation that we see very very oftenly in our practice so the rubrics in such situation that we can take are shrieking children in um, fear injury being injured off because he has fear that the doctor can give him injection next is uh, shrieking children in with escape desire too the child wants to escape from this cabin of the doctor because he's not comfortable here he's feeling a lot of fear and the third would be shrieking children in resist with difficulty you know we have to the parents have to really force the child you know apply their strength to make the child stay in the cabin and the remedy that comes up is tremonium right so no matter what the child is suffering from maybe it's asthma or, or abdominal pain or something it is immaterial but the reaction of the child to the environment also plays an important role I'll give you other examples, uh, you know, where in just initial two to three minutes, you can make it out what kind of a child he is, the way he's sitting, the way he's talking, even the look, when you look at the child, how the child responds, you know, uh, there are children who are, you know, talking outside, but the moment you ask, you ask a question, they just does not answer they just does not answer you ask them what's your name and they are not answering and then you talk to the parents the child is playing around talking to parents you know everything is normal but he just does not answer you know such situations we have a rubric um, answering aversion to and answering aversion to answer sings place but does not answer the question so the remedy is agaricus one thing more in agaricus children is very important is the moment you look at them i had a case of asthma where uh, this child the, was sitting normally right and the moment i used to look at the child the child used to look down so looking down when looked at so that see you you only understand the rubrics if you know them so the knowledge of the rubrics is very very important so read all the rubrics with answering you know read all the rubrics with which has children in it how the child answers is the child timid there's also a rubric confident if the child is talking very confidently the child does not want to answer so answering a version two the child is answering in one or two words so monosyllabic or if you're talking to the children the child is answering only by nodding so answering nodding by but see these rubrics have singular medicines like our answering nodding by has pulsatilla so there is a word of caution over here that in initial minute or two, if you see nodding and you prescribe pulsatilla, it is wrong. The rest of the case should also support that rubric. So prescribing in the end is always about analysis and evaluation. You take the case, you analyze all the rubrics, convert them into rubrics, evaluate, see what comes important, see what is more important. You put the rubrics up and down and then finally prescribe the medicine. Yeah, so look that. Yeah, we were talking about look that. Uh, if you look at the child, some children just turn their face away. So what is this? This is look 
evading the look of other person you just don't want to look you evade your look you look away right i explained you looking down evading the look or looked at cannot you don't want the other person to be you know looking at you so looking cannot bear to be looked at there is also a rubric laughing looked at when so uh, there are children who are timid you know who doesn't want to so the moment you look at them they just laugh you because they want to hide their timidity right so i think lycopodium is the remedy is la laughing looked at when and there are rubrics on answering there so there are some basic rubrics that you should know when you're doing practice in pediatrics like curious imitation there's a approach towards cases of constipation so uh, study all the rubrics which are related to constipation in children how the child reacts does the child want to you know uh, pass a stool while standing or just refuses to sit on pot or the i had a child a case from gujarat and a child used to cry during constipation and the moment he has urged he used to tell mama papa his parents that please go from here go 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 from here and he used to you know hide behind a curtain or a sofa and then he used to pass the stools and that parent had shown to various homeopathic doctors and Uh, there was no result when i took the case i took a rubric that company aversion to presence of strangers while passing stool and i prescribed that child ambragrisia few doses of ambragrisia was able to help a long standing constipation so it's always the mind which is most important and then comes physicals generals and then particular so when i talk of evaluation a uh, qualified mentals in children in any case for that matter plays a very very important role yeah so i'm planning to write a book on this approach of pediatrics and 50 important rubrics of pediatric practice but this is a small introduction about rubrics in pediatrics thank you